Hello, welcome to my show. Let's see how to install car GPS tracking app and how to use it. This app is common for various platforms and this app is very user friendly and it has so many features. When you purchasing a GPS tracker, ask your GPS seller to create user account for you and the password and you should ask GPS seller about the tracking platform related to the GPS trackers you are buying the, this app is available for both Android and Apple phones to install this app first of all you have to open your phone browser now I am going to open my phone browser. I have Chrome for browsing. Just open your phone browser and type 18 GPS 18 GPS dot net and go to that site. It is in Chinese language. You can see uh, language buttons on the top of the website. So select English language. After selecting English language, you can see two QR codes at the bottom of the web page. Then you have to select uh, right, uh, QR code in the right side just tap on that right side QR code then you will be go to web page that contains mobile app if you are using an Android phone click on Android button and if you are using an iPhone click on iPhone button now I am going to show you how to install this tracker to Android phone. So I am going for Android. Then it will ask, do you want to download this APK file? Click on download. Then the file will be downloaded to your phone. It's around uh, 4 to 6 megabyte in size. Now the downloading going to be finished. Only 18 seconds left for download now app has been downloaded to your phone uh, you can see the name of that apk file uh, com.desn cloud smart apk 
go to your phone's download location go to downloads you can see that tap in blue color it is around 46.6 megabyte in size this is the app click on it then click on install now it is being installed to my phone if you are having trouble uh, in installing because this is third party app go to settings settings and uh, select biometric and security there you can see install unknown apps you have to enable this install unknown apps to install third party app now i have already enabled it for my phone name of the app is yun xing xing now it is installed to my phone click on open this is the app interface give some permissions it does permissions allow them this is the login page of the app it has user friendly interface there you have to input username password then you have to select the server before using this app your car gps tracker should be configured you know there are so many gp car gps trackers on the market they use different different uh, tracking platform uh, so first of all after installing car gps tracker into your vehicle it should be configured uh, apn and server should be configured for the gps tracker here you have to input username and password those are provided by your car gps tracker seller uh, as a service provider if you don't have username or password ask your gps tracker seller or online store to create user account for you and get uh, logging information such as username password and the server belongs to your gps tracker there you can see the server this is the server list there are so many servers according to the your car gps tracker you should select the server first you can see 18 gps tracking platform uh, 16 gps uh, 168 gps group and 22 gps group 19 gps group my gps tracker belongs to 22 gps group tracking platform when i select it uh, it show the tracking platform now i am going to select 22 gps tracking platform if your car gps tracker belongs to uh, another platform select server according to that for example your car gps tracker belongs to uh, 18 gps you should select 18 gps group and select the 18 gps tracking platform my gps tracker belongs to 22 gps so i am going to select 22 gps and input the username and password provided by your gps tracker seller now i am going to input my 
username and password you can see remember me where dear you can check go and check that check that check this remember me button so you don't have to input username and password again and again uh, when you open it it will remember your username and password then it will automatically log into the app then tap on login you can see your vehicle on the map this is your vehicle's current location location and its speed now my vehicle is park so the status is static you can zoom the map and get more details like uh, street address road name and other details your vehicle current location address is always display on the top under the license plate number now my vehicle is traveling it's traveling towards southwest in the speed of 18 kilometers per hour by zooming map you can get more details about your vehicle's location now my vehicle is traveling a bit faster you can see the name of vehicle and the status of my vehicle now my vehicle is being driven and the actual time and date of your vehicle in this app interface you can see some icons at the bottom of the screen uh, some uh, icons are in color and uh, other five icons in mono color you can see this order icon in orange color by selecting that order, order icon you can set command to the G GPS tracker uh, and you can do the changes of your GPS tracker uh, main three commands are set commands control commands and query command here in this set command you can uh, change the guardian number this is the guardian number changing pop-up menu mm, you can uh, set uh, guardian number here and uh, setting vibration alarm this is uh, the this feature is used for if your vehicle met uh, with an accident or if your vehicle uh, caught into great vibration like accident uh, rolling down no something like that this will send you a alarm that your vehicle uh, had a great shock or vibration you can change how you want, want to get notified uh, by message by call or you can uh, set that alarm off by selecting no alarm or message or call is also available then you can change the sensitivity sensitivity of the vibration circuit of your gps tracker default is value 3 likewise you can select the sensitivity of your vibration circuit static upload uh, is also available you can change it also 
and other thing is closed relay and open relay. This is used to uh, remote power. Remote power means the vehicle is speed down to 30 kilometers below. Uh, if you set this closed relay uh, by entering password and send, your vehicle ACC power will be cut off. Then your vehicle will be stopped and it will be unable to move. If you want to enable your vehicle ACC power, you have to go to this open relay command. Then you have to enter your password and send. Then it will enable your ACC power and your vehicle can be moved. You can discover SIM which is installed in your GPS tracker by, by selecting this discover SIM command. I'm going back and I'm going to talk about this pens icon. By selecting this pens alarm, you can set the electronic pens to your vehicle. You can see plus mark on the top of the screen. Tap on it and you can set the pens for your vehicle. The maps define a region set to enter area alarm or leave the area alarm. You can uh, adjust the pen's diameter uh, by this slider. You can see it. If you set pens for this vehicle, uh, if vehicle leave this pens it uh, dps tracker will send you alarm when it come back to the area you define it will also notified you can set how tracker should alarm you if if you want to uh, uh, there are three there are four values enter leave enter leave and shut this is play icon if you want to check your vehicle's journeys for any date and time uh, you can go to this feature and you have to select the time if you want to uh, if you want to know how your vehicle was traveling yesterday select yesterday here it will show how your vehicle was traveling yesterday You can see it. This is my vehicle's journey path of yesterday. Letter P indicates the parking location of my vehicle, and letter S indicates the starting point of my vehicle. S indicate where the journey was started. Letter E indicates where my vehicle stopped the journey. You can zoom and zoom out and get details of your vehicle journey. Exact, exact position time and speed for each location report. By selecting this play button you, uh, it will show how your vehicle wo was traveling for the selected time period. You can change the speed of playback by tap tapping here. You can select middle, past, slow. If you select fast, it will show speedly how your vehicle was traveling for that time period you have selected. By, by tapping on this select time, 
This playback designated a certain period of time, the vehicle trajectory and the current state. If you want to see any other date, click on this custom and set time. For example, if you want to see how your vehicle traveled on 2nd of October, October 2019, select the date and time. I am going to set time to 1 a.m. in the morning and click OK. Then end time as I am going to select the same day. Same day means 2nd of October 2019. I am going to select uh, the time to 2300 that's mean 11 p.m. so I'm going to press ok then ok again it will show how your vehicle was traveling on the selected time period and you can see the vehicle trajectory and parking position as well as start point and end point and other icon is details icon select that icon then it will show you your car GPS tracker information as well as your vehicles information device name mean your vehicle's name equipment name equipment type mean your gps tracker model license plate number mean your vehicle's license number and you can see frame number engine number image number of the gps tracker sim number of the gps tracker and your contact details at last you can see your GPS tracking platform activation date and expiry date right and others are and other icons are home icon it is default interface when you are logging to app and other icon is list there you can see your vehicle your vehicle is shown in green color and the status your now vehicle now your vehicle is traveling it show the speed if you have many vehicles you can see all of those vehicles here and another button is alarm button for my device there are no alarms and you can see the statistics of your vehicles by selecting this statistic button you can get mileage statistics for today so tap on mileage statistics Here you can see how many kilometers are driven by my vehicle for today. You can see the clock icon here. Tap on it. And you can choose time. You can choose date and see how many kilometers were driven by you, your vehicle for the date you select if I choose if I choose uh, 3rd of October 2019 and tap on ok and you can see the total mileage for the day, date you selected 
In 3rd of October, my vehicle's total mileage is 70 kilometers. It is shown in graph. You can see other statistics like offline statistics. My device hasn't been offline. You can see the stats where my vehicle was parked. Power failure, power failure alarm statistics, off alarm statistics, and fence alarm statistics. And the last is more. See, tap on more, and you can see notification one key sharing my wallet, service provider information, service delay, SIM card renewal fee. Modify the password, map source, about us, and sign out. You can see, you can select map you want to use by tap on this map source. There are two maps, Baidu Maps and Google Maps. Baidu Maps are widely used in China. So you had better to select Google Maps and you can get the service provider information by tap on this service provider information. Map app, app name is displayed on top. This app is Yun Shixing and my service provider name, contact and address of the service provider. I think now you have good knowledge about this car GPS tracking app. It has so many features. If you have any question, please comment below. Then I can answer for your questions. And last, thank you for watching my video.